for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome back to our series on the basics of CSS. And in previous videos, we've talked about the basics of creating styles. And specifically, we've created a number of tag styles. We created this grouped tag selector here to format the H level headings with a particular font and a particular color. And then we made individual styles to reflect the font size. And this gives us the consistency and the flexibility that we need. Now, there's sometimes where there's text that you want to format that isn't formatted with a tag. If you can use a tag instead of a class style, you always should. But let's take a look at uh, my document here, our HTML document. And down at the bottom, we actually have some text for the footer. And I'm going to want to make sure that that's formatted in a particular way. So I'm going to come back to my style sheet here, and I'm going to create a class style, because there is no, unlike headings um, in HTML, there is no F1, F2, F3 style. So I'm going to create a class style. Class styles always begin with a period. Where tag styles is just the plain HTML tag, a class style will always begin with a period. You can, have, you can use um, letters and numbers in your styles, names. You can also use dashes and underscores. But you shouldn't uh, use any special symbols and spaces beyond dashes and underscores. And I'm going to call this footer text. That's going to be the name of my style. And then I'll do my opening bracket right there. And then hit enter. And I'm going to want several properties here. The first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to set the font. So I'm going to set the font to uh, Arial here. I'm also going to want to set the font size. And again, there are multiple ways to size fonts in CSS, um, proportionally or fixed. I usually uh, size things proportionally, but for this exercise, we're just going to say that the text is going to be 10 pixels. And I also want to make sure it's going to be italic. Now, if you don't know the name of a particular uh, style property, but you know what it begins with, you can go ahead and type the first couple letters, and you're going to see this little shortcut here allows us to um, see the fonts that m or the properties that may affect us. And I know that it's the font style property that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And then you'll see it puts the rest of the property in on the colon and gives me my options here. And I'm going to select italic and then close my property value statement off. And I also want to set the color of this. And I'm going to make the color of the t font like a medium gray. Then I'm going to go ahead and close. Oh, I'll do one more thing. I want to align on the page. So I'm going to use the text align property. And I'm going to select centered as the property value. And now I'm going to end my first class style. The important thing to remember there is class styles always need to begin with a period, whereas tag styles, it's just the HTML tag that you need to um, type there. So I'm going to right click right up here and I'm going to select save. And then I'm going to come over to my basic HTML. And again, I have to highlight that. And just like I had to choose a tag style, now I'm going to have to select a class style. Whenever you want to apply a tag style, you can usually get to the main tag styles by going right over here. You'll see your paragraph style along with your heading styles. But if it's a class style you're looking for, you're going to click this drop down here. And there is my footer tag style. So I'll go ahead and select that, and you'll see the way that footer text is now going to appear on the page. Maybe I want to make it a little bit larger. 
I'm going to go ahead and click on Style CSS, scroll down a little bit, and instead of being 10 pixels, we'll go ahead and make it 12 pixels. I'm going to right click, and I'm actually going to do Save All here because I can see my Style Sheet and my HTML page are both have unsaved changes in them. That's what that asterisk means. So I'll right click and say Save All. And when I come back to basic HTML, you'll see that that became a little bit larger there for me. So creating a class style, very simple. The only thing you have to remember is begin the style name with a period. Other than that, the property value statements are act absolutely identical. You can come over here into basic HTML. And when you want to apply a class style, you use the class dropdown as opposed to applying paragraph and heading styles that you would get to, or ID styles, which you would get to from over um, here. So your class styles will all be listed right there. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.